Hello everyone and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, day number 14. So, we are now officially two weeks into this little endeavor. <clears throat> yeah, so we're officially two weeks in, and I am facing the problem that everyone has faced before. Having four wins in a row, clearly. Nope, that's not a problem because we'll probably die today. Or maybe we'll die today. But, you know, what I'm saying is just like... The, the issue is of time management. I think that's an issue we all kind of somewhat suffer from, you know, if you know what I'm saying. We're all just like, hey, we don't have time just to do everything, you know, and I think that's pretty obvious, but it's still a serious problem that I think most of all of us have to deal with. Because in life, there's the rule, the 10,000 hour rule, you know, whether you believe in it or not, there's this idea that you need to spend 10,000 hours on something to truly master it. Well, a lot of us would like to master a lot of things, you know, everything from just, you know, like, just, we'd like to master a lot of kind of stuff, right? And I think that's generally true just for everyone. We'd like to master stuff. But the problem is, there's just not, like, there's not 10,000 hours just to go and master just whatever you want all the time. Because first off, it's really hard to, you know, go out and uh, just choose to, like, go and master something. That first off is going to take a lot of persistence. And second off, 10,000 hours is just a long, long time, you know? And that's just my point here. It's just a lot of time, a lot of time. So it can be can be kind of difficult to master stuff. So I think that's, that's just, you know, how it, how it kind of just is. But maybe there is a better solution out there than what most of us, you know, know about. Because mm. there's got to be some better, you know, solution to time management problems so you can actually get in to do what you want to do. Because I think that would be very important. Then again, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just feeling this way after kind of a wasted Saturday. Or at least what I feel is kind of a wasted Saturday. <laughs> well, at least this is kind of fun. Just kind of not been doing much because, like, when I schedule out my day, I usually, like, I guess my problem is I just schedule out a, a day that's a little bit too, you know, full of stuff that I want to do. Okay, one sec, my controller's running low. Okay. You know, when I schedule out a day, I kind of just, like, schedule out a day that's, like, has, instead of 24 hours in it, has, like, 33 hours in it for all the stuff I just want to do by a conservative estimate. And, like, when you do that, it's just freaking difficult because how are you supposed to, like, do all that stuff? You really just can't. So you kind of have to, like, prioritize, but you also just, like, it just makes it impossible sometimes, you know? So sometimes the important things slip by the way for the things that just need to be done, and that's that's not something I'm a big fan of. So scheduling's difficult, and it's kind of, it's just, it can be a pain at sometimes. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I think we all already know that, you know, but it's just, it just kind of sneaks up on me sometimes. Do, do. Yep, and then, you know, but at least I've kept this commitment somewhat, just like to continue to do this consistently, and yeah. Okay, so then there are those items that are like that, 10 bombs. Is that really an, is that even an item at all? I mean, some kind of me, Johnny, kind of went over that fact in his review of the game, how, like, that specific item is just not, it's not really, like, it's not even an item so, so much. It's just like a, you know, it's ten bombs. It's not, it's not like an item, is it? Then there's also the idea of whether you want to look at the world with a positive or more of a negative view, right? Because the world can be good at times and it can just plain suck at times. And I think that's pretty obvious. So, like, but if you take a more... The idea is, like, with the law of attraction anyway, the general idea is that you, um, if you think more positively, you see more of the positive things and your mind locks on to the more positive things. Now, with the law of attraction specifically, some people take it too far to think that their minds can do insane stuff, you know, that just kind of, like, happens, you know, that you can just, like, that the mind can do things that are not even physically possible. And I think that's just a little bit interesting you get with some, a little bit of just whatever kind of community there is out there when things 
go between the walls of like psychology and like philosophy. <coughs> yeah, I just think that that happens sometimes, you know. That's one of the things people need to look out for is that that can happen. And also one of the things I've noticed when it comes to like the scientific communities as I study more about science and go into more science and interact with more scientists is just like how kind of egoic it is at times, you know, which is kind of annoying. Just like how how much people just use science as a way to kind of like stroke their own ego sometimes instead of actually find the truth. So it's less about finding truth and more about just like feeling like you're smart. And I don't think that's really the case with all of science. I just think that like, there are some times and some people that are just like that, you know, and that's that can just be annoying. And that's just a thing that has to be dealt with as part of the general community. And also how, like, things do not have to be entirely, you know, like, completely 100% proven before you can take any steps towards things. Like, I think that's one thing that people use as a crutch is, like, well, I don't actually know this one step yet, so I'm not going to begin. Okay. But just, like, some people just do that, you know, sometimes, and that can be kind of annoying. Or at least I find that kind of annoying. Just because, like, ah. That's one of the downsides to speed though just that like you know i mean i think it's just like you know it's uh i think people need to learn to be more like useful to society and think a little bit more about society than most people kind of like just generally do a lot of the time it seems like a lot of people you know especially after certain just like periods of time value like the group less and value like the individual entirely more but then also, there's this whole, like, tribalism idea to it, I guess I'm hinting at a little bit. Like, people seem to have this, like, whole tribalistic idea of, like, there's me and there's my group and then everybody else is, like, the enemy and so they need to be dealt with and blah blah blah. And it's just, that's kind of irritating. Thanks for knocking stuff over upstairs, cat. You're a real, you're really helping me right now. Yeah. Explosive thoughts. Yep. Well, this this might not end well anyway, since we're kind of dying. What does the rainbow stuff do anyway? I just I'm just wondering. Yeah, I don't know. Well, this run's not going too great, but you know, I'm also not in that great a mood, so maybe I just need to cheer up a little bit more. Cause it's like sometimes, sometimes just you know, life gets me down, and that, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. And I guess I just have to deal with that. Well, I'll figure it out. You know? Just, just cause. Okay. Store upgrade level 2. So we get better items now, pretty much. Man. Okay, let's just go battle the boss then. If we die, we die. That's just, that's just how it is, you know? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's just how it's gonna be. Either we either win or we die. Okay, that was close. Well, at least our evil's up, so that's nice. Okay, next level. Because that was a really close to death experience, that would be one of my shorter runs, I guess. But I'm just I'm not feeling the energy today, you know. It's just it's one of those days when I'm just like, you know, kind of lower. Like I guess all kind of people who go into any kind of creative field or people who generally try to explore creative imagination or the sixth sense or whatever you want to call it just I guess there's a kind of a to some degree there's a there's a how do you you know channel your craft is, I guess is part of it like some people like for example um, I guess I'm talking a bunch of nonsense at the moment but people like for example like uh, Langston Hughes you know one of his things was um, that when it came to um, when it came to like his creativity, he was very good at being very creative when he was in like a bad mood or when he was like upset or sad or something like that. So he was a lot better there than when he was happy because when he was happy he didn't really feel like writing. But he created best or he created anyway um, successfully when he was not feeling happy. Not necessarily feeling depressed like some creative people do. Like another example might be Edgar Allan Poe. Like Edgar Allan Poe was somebody who you know, was kind of kind of depressed and stuff. If you've noticed, just by a lot of what is the stuff he is, and is his a lot of his creativity came directly just from his, like you know, 
a lot of his creativity, as I was saying, came like from just when he was, you know, just under the effects of alcohol heavily. And that's just like how he got his creative vibe on. And, you know, I just the I guess there are different ways kind of to channel creativity. So kind of like how the Think and Grow Rich book talks about it. It, you know, different people do it differently. Luck up. Well, that's good. Well, at least I think it's pretty good. So, you know. I think I'm starting to see more patterns the more time I put into this game. But like, what, what rocks are blue and what are not blue, you know? So, I think I'm getting better. I just think it's, once again, this is a 10,000 hour kind of thing. If you, you know, don't put in the time, you won't get it in the necessary skill to get better. And so, you know, it's just how it goes. Then again, sometimes I just run into stuff just like that. And, you know, it's just how it goes. At least the store upgrade's starting to look like it's having some effect. Okay, this time dilation thing can also be useful. I call it a time dilation thing, but I don't remember exactly what the watch does. I just think it dilates time. It seems like it's right. Okay. Well, I guess we're moving on, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what this does, but this pearl's been doing it. You know, it's been okay so far. Maybe that's the thing that's getting me more blue hearts, so, you know, I don't know. Then again, maybe the... I don't know. That was kind of lucky. Door opened up there. Well, that would be useful, except there's, there's nothing I can really do there. Okay. I'm gonna need that fist to help me out here. Come on, buddy. Thank you. But yeah, creativity is just, I think, a weird kind of thing to understand at times, so it's a, it's a little bit frustrating to channel and, you know, try to master because you know it's just it's one of those frustrating things yeah and spiders I don't like spiders well I, in real life I have no problem with spiders it's just this game yeah. this game it curses me yeah okay we're gonna find the real secret room though because I need to find the secret room I'm really low on stuff, so, you know, we're, we're going to look for it. Not bad, but not good either. What I really need is just some health up, you know, because when you don't get health up and you have Azazel, you, you can have issues. But we're, we're just going to go for it, okay? This this round's been kind of, it's been kind of low and things haven't been going so great, so we're just, we're just going to do this. We're either going to beat this boss or we're not. It's a binary option, and we're going to see how it goes. Okay. Well, I've been blessed, apparently. I hadn't noticed. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'm just kind of in a bad mood. That must be it. Well, maybe I'll get to feeling better soon enough. Should have probably gone back from one of those other cards, whatever was there. Curse of the Maze. Well, we might not be around much longer to be cursed by the maze, so, you know possible anyway especially with these head guys you can never get a head on them yeah bombs are key swaps the bombs and the keys yeah well I find the pills to be sometimes useful and sometimes just really hurtful you know depends on the run I guess but there are some skills you can build up in this game so you know maybe I can maybe that'll help yeah. oh come on Walked into the wrong room. Well, that was an accident. Fine. I'll deal with it, though. There we go. Okay. We'll just take that. Use it effectively. And, yep. Okay. Is there, like, a 50-50 chance on this one, or what's the, what's the thing? I don't know exactly what that does, but I need my reusable evil. I can earn an extra heart here in a second. Good. Because I'm going to need that if I want to survive. A magician. Okay. I'm not going to risk the room there, because it's just not worth it. Okay, Maze, come on. It's getting annoying. You know, 
Okay, come on. I can be in a happier mood than this. Come on. I'm never gonna get anywhere if I stay all like not in a happy mood. So, ow! Ah, oh, the thing blew me up. It's probably my own fault, but still. Still, that was my only bomb. I forgot. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Maybe I should go get my pay-to-play thing, because that was kind of working. Maybe I'll just go pick it up in a minute. Okay, how did I get that blue heart out of nowhere? I just got a blue heart? Is that a part of being blessed or something? I just randomly get blue hearts or something? That'd be kind of sweet. Hmm. Not seeing any blue rocks though, so, yeah. We just don't have the kind of money we need to afford this kind of stuff. I need this though. Because, definitely gonna need that. The more hearts, the better, you know? This maze is kind of a curse, though, isn't it? Man. I've just not been having the best of luck. Okay, well, I guess we're going to see how it goes, then. Well, let's go back and get the secret room. The secret room should make this better. Come on. Come on, feel the hype. I really need to feel the hype better. Come on. Should be lots of stuff around here. Yes! I get to be tiny, too. Give me those bombs. I need the keys. Bombs are key. Well, if I never need to swap again, I guess I'll be good. Man. Speed down. I was hoping for the other one. Bombs are key. Well, well the magician's not too useful, so... Eh. Let's be tiny. We will be Tiny Tim. I am Tiny Tim. Here. I am Tiny Tim. Oh, where did I get the item? I got the item, didn't I? I totally got the item. Yep, I did. What am I even doing, man? Let's just get out of here. Come on. I got this. This is easy. Come on. Positive attitude. We got this. Oop, oop. Too far. This maze is kind of a curse. Either win or I don't. That's how it is. I have no preference of either way. I prefer to win, but you know, sometimes we just lose. That's just how it goes. How it goes. Ain't that right, Monstro 2? You would know. You've ruined my runs before. A lot. You've ruined my runs a lot before. Not my recorded ones so much, but you know. You've done it. Ow. Oh, there we go. And being smaller means damage is higher, I guess. Well, goodbye, cruel world. Um, hopefully, I just, I guess, things go better tomorrow. Mm. This run wasn't too great, and I guess this is just when, you know, the win streak breaks down eventually, huh? When just things go bad, and, you know, it's just not great items and not a great attitude, and meh, it's just kind of how it goes. So, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully things just go better then. But until then, I hope everybody else is feeling a little bit better, and, uh, yeah, I look forward to our run tomorrow, so, yeah, I'll see you then. Goodbye.